Welcome to Dr. Charles Speaks, a podcast for now. You've joined us for a special series of transformational talks, selected exclusively from Dr. Charles' corporate success calls. The 15-minute calls are designed to encourage leaders, activate your thought life, and prepare you for the challenges ahead. Dr. Charles joins every call with a blend of his personal experiences, his expertise as a John Maxwell certified mentor and coach, and of course, his more than 30 years of exceptional experience in both corporate America and ministry. Get motivated with Dr. Charles Speaks, a transformational talk from the red line on today's podcast, inspiring excellence and generating results. Good day, my friends. And yes, together, we're going to make it a great day. Because there is power in numbers, and when you have positive people, positive leaders, you're going to make a difference wherever you're at, because you are a beacon of light where you are today. And wherever you go during the course of this week, you're going to share good news, positive news, and you're going to put smiles on people's faces, and you're going to encourage them, and you're going to challenge them, and you're going to grow along with them. Because that's what the call is all about, this 15-minute call. It's really about to inspire you to continue to learn and continue to grow and to challenge yourself and your personal growth. We can never stop growing. Don't give up. You'll find yourself on a couch, and before you know it, you'll turn into a couch potato. All right, my friends, today with the time that we have, as I've been sharing with you, I've been reading the book of John Gordon, Positive Leaders. It certainly has blessed me, and I certainly hope that and pray that it has blessed you in some of these messages and talks and things that I've been able to get from the book. I'm certainly trying to observe to do. What good is it to just read something and says that's good and don't do anything about it? And so today I want to talk about positive leaders creating positive vision. We're talking about vision. I've talked about this before. And when you think about a vision, it's simple. If you can see it, you can create it. And someone said, if the mind can perceive it, it can achieve it. If you can see it, you can create it. If you have a vision, then you also have the power to make it happen. Knowing where you're going and how you're going to get there and why you're going to get there and all of those things are so important because, but in order to rally people to follow you, to support you, to get on your energy bus, you must be able to articulate and communicate your vision in a simple, clear, and compelling way. Because people are not going to follow somebody who's just wandering and has a whole lot of great ideals, but not going anyplace, standing still, just talking at the counter in the break room, uh, never moving forward. But when you have made up your mind and you have set your sights on something very precious and dear to you that will have an impact and make a difference in people's lives, you are able to share that when people ask you. You are able to articulate it in such a way that is simple and that it is compelling and that people want to become a part of it. And that's what you're going to need because nobody is going to follow you if you don't have a clear vision. We're not going to have the blind leading the blind You're going to only follow when you have something to follow to. And so it's important to have, not only in the corporate world or in the church community and your personal life, it is important to have a compelling vision. We talk about sometimes when you articulate about your vision, what is your elevator speech? You've got 30 seconds to tell me about what your vision is. And people who can do it effectively, they have looked at it, they have studied it, they have bought in on it, they have uh, begun to take steps towards it, and they begin to bring people along with them to support them and to perhaps even co-labor with them. And so I've said it again, it's important to have a compelling vision and a comprehensive plan. And so what I want you to do, when you have set the sights and you have wrote down on paper and you have been able to take it in and absorb it and observe to do it, then keep sharing your vision over and over because 
when you're leading a team or you're even leading yourself, you've got to hear it over and over. You've got to make it tangible where you can see it daily. You can uh, always have it in the forefront of your mind because what positive leaders do, they keep the vision alive. You can't just write out a vision and put it in a drawer and forget about it. You've got to put it on your refrigerator. You've got to put it in your car. You've got to put it everywhere you go, in your shirt pocket, in your pants pocket, in your purse. You, Wherever you look, it is something to keep you focused. It is something that you will continue to keep alive. I've talked about on a few talks ago, we talked about what is your one word, and the one word was the driving factor to drive you forward for that particular season or for that particular calendar year, what is it that you're going to stay focused on? And that one word becomes your chapters in life or your chapters leading up to your event. And the event is at the the optimum place where you want to be, and that's the book. That's who you are. When you have written the chapters of life of of the journey, along the journey, then you are able to make your dream, your vision come true. Positive leaders, when it comes to vision, here's what they do. It's really all about seeing and creating a brighter and better future. And that's what it should all be about. It's not about just you, just me. It's about others. It's about being a blessing. You know, I've said this, and you've heard me say it. We're leaders, but we are servant leaders. And I know people get into that, well, wait a minute, I don't feel like serving. I want to be served. Well, wait a minute. If you want to be great, you'll become a servant, and you'll see that in the midst of you becoming and being a servant leader, people will just be more than willing to assist you and to help out because you have given up self and you poured yourself out to serve others without expecting anything in exchange. Because when you do a transaction, you expect something in exchange. But when you are a servant leader, you don't expect anything in exchange. What you expect is that the person does better, gets better, uh, and you smile, and you are grateful for them, and you are uh, just excited for them as though uh, it happened to you. And that is so important in leadership is that it's really about the people, and as uh, my grandmother would say, if if you take care of God's business, he'll take care of yours. Well, there's something true to that, and I subscribe to that. I, I serve him first, and what I'm able to do to share with you is just icing on the cake. A positive leader sees what's possible because that's what a vision is all about, the possibility, the capacity, having the capacity to see the possibility and to take the next steps to rally the people uh, to see the possibilities and then to unite the people and to bring it all together and it manifests itself each and every day as you make your way towards it. So you keep thinking, you keep dreaming, and you write those things down on a pad or put them into your phone and you look at them and you examine it and you pray over it and you take your part along this life journey and you do your thing. You don't have to worry about somebody intervening and messing up your journey because you've got a place on this earth. You've got a special position. You have a job to do and you have a vision to reach. That's what you have. But as I've said, first, you must have a vision and with a destination in mind, number two, and then you're going to need these two things. I like this analogy that John Gordon, he gives in his book. He talks about a telescope and a microscope because when you set yourself out to reach that vision, you're going to need both of them. You're going to need a telescope. You're going to need a microscope. What are you, what are you talking about, Dr. Charles? Well, The telescope helps you and your team keeps your eye on the vision, the big picture. Now, think about it. The big picture, that telescope can look two, three miles ahead, and you're looking through those lenses. You can look up at the moon. You can look up at hundreds of miles, thousands of miles, and you can see from a long vision. The telescope helps you and your team keeps your eye on the prize, the big picture, whereas the microscope helps you to zoom in 
and focus on the things you must do in the short term to realize the vision that you see in your telescope. Wow, I tell you what, that just blessed me when I read that and to get to share that with you because when you set your sights on that picture, you can just see it. It's out there. And it may seem in the physical realm, you're never going to get there. It's too far away. You just don't have the time. You just don't have the, you know, you just don't have the fortitude to get it done. But the thing that helps you is that that microscope, because you can start with one piece at a time or one brick at a time, and you'll see progress if you stick to it. If you have only just the telescope, if that's all you have, then you'll be thinking about your vision all the time and dreaming about the future, but not taking the necessary steps to realize it. If you only have a microscope, then you'll be working hard every day, but setbacks and challenges will likely frustrate you and discourage you because you'll lose sight of the big picture. So you see now why you need both. And as you make your plans and you set your sights on the vision, you're going to need a telescope that's going to help you keep your eye on the big picture and a microscope that's going to help you zoom in and focus on the things that you must do in the short term. I like to leave you with this. When you think about positive leaders and what they do and creating and sharing their positive vision. They're able to simplify it, make it visual where you can see it and where you can participate. The thing that I want to leave you with when you talk about the analogy of the telescope and the microscope, you're going to need to frequently pull out your telescope. Why? Because it will remind you and your teams where you're going and you'll need to look through your microscope daily in order to focus on what matters most and follow through on your commitments. Because at the end of the day, together, these two, they will help you take your team, take your organization, take yourself where you want to go. And so today, my prayers for you is that you will open your eyes and see the impossible but realize it is possible and begin to write down and begin to share with your friends and your co-workers and your teams and begin to spread the energy. Because one thing about it, when you start talking about something and you start moving towards it, you'll find that people will also be interested and be interested in joining and working with you to realize it. Because you can't do it all by yourself. You're not built to do it all by yourself. You're going to need the diversity of talent and people that are going to bring in their perspectives and ideals and and have the common uh, mindset that you have to reach your destiny. So I thank you today for joining me. We've been talking about positive leaders creating and sharing a positive vision. Won't you begin today? Won't you think about the message today? Won't you do something today in making a difference, starting with you and then spreading the love with the rest? You have been listening to Dr. Charles on the Red Line. Have a great day now, my friends. Let's go back to work. Thank you for listening to Dr. Charles Speaks. Visit drcharlesred.com for booking info for your ministry, business, or leadership team. Get info about The Red Line, a 15-minute corporate success call each Monday morning with Dr. Charles. Follow Dr. Charles on all social media at Dr. Charles Red. Subscribe to the podcast here for every episode of Dr. Charles Speaks. Thanks for joining us. Like Dr. Charles always says, no matter what, Never, never, never give up. Until next time.